not going to walk, but I'm still alive. What's next? I learn. I need to recover first inside. The heart, feelings, the mind. And then everything outside will be better when the heart is better. Trying to maintain positivity in the face of adversity. Having that strength of spirit and faith to persevere and look it right in the eye and say, well, I'm not going to quit. I may not succeed, but I'm not going to quit. The first lesson in life, never give up. Don't ever become afraid to try something new. It may just prove to be a winning ticket to you getting stronger and better and self-reliant, and who knows how far you can go. If you don't try, you'll never know. I'm not measured by how many times I fall down. I'm measured by how many times I get back up. And that's what you did. Anything is possible. That's, that's our fate. I'm proud to be his dad. He does walk taller than any man that I know. I was a victim but I am a victorious survivor. They told me, uh, we're here to interview, interview, give you an interview. I was in the phone and I told the lady, um, I'm in a wheelchair lady, you know, and she's all, she's all like, who cares, you know? We're here to interview you, not your wheelchair, you know? <laughs> and I realized that it was more of an inconvenience than it was a disability. I do all the sports I want to do. I have a family, a kid, travel. I mean, the only thing that really changed was my mode of transportation. Can't walk. Don't need to. After all the internal injuries and all that happened, ultimately all that, all that really happened was I was missing my left leg below my knee. I think it boils down to potential. And that is the magic word in rehabilitation. It can be done, because nothing is impossible. It's nice to have a goal to journey towards, but in the end, the journey is all that mattered. And what I really think is, it's amazing where you can come from and where you can go to. You sometimes think to yourself, well, gee, where is why? But then you say, hey, this is the way it is. There's no why, just do. We need to do more than just survive. We must go beyond survival. And the only way you do that is you find that inside your soul, we have greater resiliency, we have greater courage, we have greater strength, we have greater intellect, we have greater creativity than we ever thought possible and, and we only find it out when we're tested. Well I think you appreciate your gifts when you don't have as many of them. You appreciate what you can do more because it's a gift and it's more precious. I think all of us have a special gift. It's just finding that gift inside of us. If you want to dwell on being a victim, then you're always going to worry about what you lost. I have to have hope that things are going to get better. Hope conquers fear. If you just sit back and do nothing, that's what's going to happen to you. Nothing. Something that you got to keep working at. You just got to find it within yourself to find the strength to keep trying. What I learned about myself was my spirit and the human spirit is so much stronger than I could have ever imagined. And you just keep saying, I can do anything, even if you can't, but you just, you 
just say I can do anything. One of my goals in life is to be happy and proud of myself. So, so I guess I have to find a new goal because that's how I feel right now. Thank you. People that you see in wheelchairs are powerful individuals. They're a person you would want to get to know because these people have overcome much more than you or I will ever face. It doesn't matter if they can't do something, they're still just as special as you are. By treating all people with dignity, you allow the world to be whole. I learned that you take only what's offered that day, and that's okay. You could spend a whole day feeling sorry for yourself. You're still going to end up being in the same place. But if you just wake up in the morning, maybe dedicate one hour to feeling sorry, you still got 23 hours left to make a difference. And those 23 hours are the ones that you need to concentrate on. People need something to do, something to look forward to, and someone to do it for. Eventually all grandpas end up in a wheelchair, I guess. I just do it early and make it look good. Yeah, I'm, I'm grateful for what I have. I truly believe there is beauty after tragedy. All my dreams have come true. Our time on this earth is so short that we, uh, we can't waste a day. Every time I, I swing my feet over the side of the bed and put my shoes on, and, and the blessings start at that point every day. And so every day is a blessing. It's an absolute blessing. It's really amazing how much time you need to live your life. On my last day, I don't want to go, man, I wish I'd done that. It is like a new life that was given to me and I'm very happy on that. There are days when I wake up and just say, wow, a new day.